With Taiwan under growing threat from China and Beijing expanding its presence in the South China Sea, the U.S. is pushing back with a deal to access four bases in the Philippines, part of a mutual defense treaty, another American toehold on China's doorstep. Our goal is and always has been uh, to promote uh, greater security and stability throughout the, the region. In response, China's foreign ministry accused the U.S. of raising tensions and urged countries in the region to avoid being compromised by the United States. China should take this as a wake-up call, that it's not just that Americans are getting fed up with its behavior, but countries in the region are seeing the bullying. Alarm has spread beyond Taiwan, through Asia and around the world. There's no mistaking the frantic pace of China's military buildup and assertiveness. Beijing is substantially building up its military forces, including nuclear weapons, without any transparency. It is attempting to assert control over the South, South China Sea and threatening Taiwan, trying to take control of critical infrastructure, including in NATO countries. Where it all leads is the big unknown. A four-star American general recently penned a memo predicting the U.S. will be at war with China by 2025, just two years from now. He wrote, I hope I am wrong. It's our military's job to be ready. And, you know, I think there's a tendency in the Pentagon these days and in Washington to think that we can have this nifty form of deterrence. Well, you know what? Hard power matters. Though the Pentagon has distanced itself from those comments, it's clear the U.S. is not sitting idly by, preparing for an uncertain future and an unfamiliar adversary. The Pentagon stresses that American use of those bases in the Philippines will be temporary, not a permanent deployment. Military planners believe that flexibility will be essential in any future conflict. So, too, is security for America's allies in the region. Donna? Jackson in Washington, thanks.